of course, India is blessed with uh, many things. You know, it, it has a, a great labor force, very skilled people. Uh, they know how to, especially companies like Reliance, know how to go to scale uh, and make something affordable for many, many people. Uh, and that is important without, by the way, compromising on quality. So part of, you know, what, uh, what Reliance is about is uh, what we like to call affordable excellence, whether that is uh, access to, let's say, the digital world through a 4G offering, which is only $2 per month, uh, unprecedented in the world, which, you know, of course, makes that accessible to, uh, to hundreds of millions of people. We have 500 million clients uh, in the digital business. But also structured retail is more cost effective. The further you go uh, into the rural areas, you know, the informal retail business is actually really expensive. So having that structured approach with, uh, with cost efficiencies is important. And we intend to do the same for, uh, for energy. Um, and, and that is, um, uh, you know, one, one of the four uh, businesses that Reliance is going to um, uh, be in. Uh, and we go to scale, so to make it affordable without compromising on quality, and that's super exciting. Do you think that uh, the green hydrogen uh, boom in India is a, say, a perspective of uh, just years, or it's really long, long time perspective? No, it's, uh, it, it's going to be there forever. Uh, the, 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 the issue with India is, like Europe uh, and, and like Japan and Korea, it's a net energy importer. Uh, that, that is a situation that we have right now, but in the future, renewable energy can, uh, you know, can make India self-sufficient. It's an uh, issue, but uh, at the end of the day, it's also an opportunity. Of course, it is an, a massive opportunity. So as you, as you already said, we have the resources in India to be self-sufficient and perhaps even become an exporter of energy from an importer of energy right now. Uh, so you combine that potential with, you know, the uh, industrial footprint that is associated with uh, renewable energy and hydrogen and, and, and all the applications uh, thereof uh, is huge. It can really become, you know, one of the, the factors of the Indian economy going forward.